Welcome to St. Paul's Wednesday Evenings Intergenerational Faith and Formation Program. I'm Mother Deborah Kissinger, and I'm going to tell you tonight all about Candlemas. That's right, Candlemas. It's candle with an M-A-S on the end. Every year in the church on February the 2nd, we celebrate the feast of the presentation of Jesus in the temple. This day is also called Candlemas. Candlemas is 40 days after Jesus was born. Get out your calendar sometime and count 40 days after Christmas. It will always be February the 2nd. Christians remember that on this day, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem to present him before God. In the Gospel of Luke, we learn how after Mary and Joseph had done this, two faithful people, Simeon and Anna, shared something about who Jesus really is. I'm going to read the story to you now about when Simeon and Anna first saw Jesus. After 40 days, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. It is written in the law of the Lord, give every firstborn male to the Lord. A man named Simeon lived in Jerusalem. He was a good man and very religious. He was waiting for the time when God would help Israel. The Holy Spirit was with him. The Holy Spirit told Simeon that he would not die before he saw the Christ promised by the Lord. The Spirit led Simeon to the temple. Just as Simeon arrived, Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to the temple to do what the law said they must do. Anna, a prophetess, was there at the temple too. Now, Anna was very old. Her husband had died, and she lived all alone. She was about 84 years old. Anna never left the temple. She worshiped God by praying day and night, and she was standing there thanking God when Mary and Joseph came to the temple. Both Anna and Simeon went to Jesus, and Simeon took Jesus in his arms and praised God, saying, Now, Lord, you can let me, your servant, die in peace as you promised. I have seen your salvation with my eyes. You prepared him before all people. He is a light for all people to see. He will bring honor to your people, the Israelites. Jesus' mother and father were amazed at what he said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, Many in Israel will fall and many will rise because of this child. He will be a sign from God that many people will not accept. The things they think in secret will be made known, and the things that will happen will make your heart sad, too. Anna, she talked about Jesus to all who are waiting for God to free Jerusalem. When Joseph and Mary had finished doing everything that the law of the Lord commanded, they went home to Nazareth, where they lived in Galilee. Jesus began to grow up. He became stronger and wiser, and God's blessings were with him. Did you hear that? Simeon said that God sent Jesus for all people. All people. And he called Jesus a light a light that all people could see. When Simeon said that, it was the first time that anyone recognized that Jesus was the Messiah, the Christ. 
that means that Jesus is the light that points to God. And Simeon also says that Jesus is for all people. He is for everyone. He is a light for everyone. Now, when we are at church, what do we light? Candles, of course. And that is why today we call, this day is called Candlemas, because Simeon says, Jesus is the light that points to God. Now, in just a second, I'm going to ask you to pause the video. When I do, I want you to do two things. First, find an adult or someone tall enough who knows how to use matches or a lighter. Then get them to help you find some candles. Then bring the person, the matches or the lighter, and the candles back and join me. Are you ready? Push pause and I'll wait right here. Welcome back. Did you find everything? I got my candles and a lighter too. Well, because of what Simeon and Anna said about Jesus being the light of the world, today is Candlemas, the day of the church year when all the candles that are used in church during the coming year get blessed. On this day, sometimes people bring their own candles from home to church for a blessing so they can have Jesus' light in their home too. Now, it's time to set your candles up. You can put them on your kitchen table or your coffee table. Just put them somewhere where that tall person with the matches says is okay. You can pause me now while you set up your candles. I'll be waiting right here for you. I see you set up your candles. That's great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bless our candles for our home together. So, when you see me hold out my hands for a blessing, you hold out your hands too. First, let's light our candles. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. O oh God, source of all light on this day, you reveal to the aged Simon and Anna the light which enlightens the nations, Jesus the Christ. We ask you now to bless these candles for our use. Fill our hearts with the light of faith that we who light these candles may walk in the path of goodness through Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. Now let's just pause for a minute and consider and name aloud someone 
or some place that's dark and needs Jesus' light, who needs Jesus' passionate love. For everyone who is sick, especially those who are sick from the coronavirus and all the doctors and nurses who take care of them. For those who are scared. For those who are lonely. And now let's turn to each other and share how we can be lights, the light of Christ for each other. I know that I'm a good listener. I can listen to you. I know that I love beautiful things, and I promise when I see them to tell you about them so you can see them too. Now, let's sing a song of praise and joy. This little light of mine. Get your candle ready. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine all over the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I hope that you will take your candles and maybe put them on your kitchen table or your dining room table and light them every night as a reminder that you too are a light, a light of Christ for other people. Let us go forth and share our light with others. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.